Ted's best quality is his sensible taste in shoes, uh, jeans that are good for a vet or a mom from 1982. Uh, as you can, oh, you can't really see right now, but uh, I mean, you can if you want. I'll just move this out of my crotch and you can see just how highlighted my crotch is because of the tightness in the thigh of this jean. And then there's the shoes as well. A sensible, comfortable walking shoe, a gentleman's walking shoe, I think is uh, the best way to describe these. Um, don't let the cool design fool you. They are dork shoes. Uh, but again, sensible, and I think that's Ted. What I love about Ted is, as a vet, he is not only a little geeky, but also gets to play around with cute animals all the time, which comes to what I actually love about him. Uh, he makes puns and like wordplay jokes a lot, which is something that I, I feel I've kind of added to the character, but I, I, I think it fits fairly well, and it's, I really do enjoy that quite a bit. Well, uh, I guess since this is being recorded, I will say the following. I love them. They're great. Uh, no, it is, it is actually, what I really do love about them is not only are they grounded yet still ridiculously funny, but being able to hear them read aloud in the, uh, uh, the, the read-throughs that we do at lunch every now and again and getting to hear Eugene and Catherine kind of do these, these things for the first time is just such a treat because honestly they are hilarious even when they're like sort of stumbling through lines not even intentionally being funny they are just so funny i really love each member of the cast brings something completely different uh to their character and then to the ultimate uh sort of conglomeration that makes up the show uh i mean eugene and Catherine, obviously like i i mentioned are just so funny without even trying to be Chris tries really, 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 really hard and is funny most of the time, I guess. Uh, but no, I really, <laughs> I mostly I'm working with Annie, who I find absolutely hilarious. And she just so effortlessly drops into that character of Alexis. Um, such a endearingly selfish character uh, that I just, I just, I, I really do think it's a miracle that they got everybody that they did together. Kudos to Dan and, and Eugene for sort of finding uh, all of these hilarious people that, again, are all so different and yet fit together like a, um, a sexy small town Jenga game. Uh, Catherine O'Hara, Maya Rudolph. Why? Why? Oh God, because they're so funny and beautiful. Uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Uh, because it is one of those stories where not only is it charming and kind of funny and quirky and odd, but at its foundation it is about the fact that chemically, genetically, in your soul, there is something about being in love with someone that even no matter how much you want to remove that out of your mind and, and out of the surface, there is some deep connection that you cannot ignore as a human being and it will fight and until you smash it down completely uh, to, to see the light of day, that love. And that's important for people to recognize. I love fans, uh, all 14 of you. But I have to say that when fans uh, just are tweeting at me as an example, like, why won't you follow me? Please follow me. I love you so much. Follow me. And then their friend is like, why aren't you following my friend? She loves you so much. She talks about you all the time. And then you click on their account. And guess what? They've said that to like 45 other celebrities that day. Or it's like, oh, it's my birthday. Can I get a tweet? And they just copy and paste that same thing with a different handle. That is insulting to me. Do you even want me to wish you happy birthday on social media? Does that mean nothing to you? I'm upset. I'm sorry. Mm, I pretty much listen to uh, Body Talk by Robin on repeat constantly. So that's probably number one on my, on my iPhone right now.